Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are anything like me, you own a play seat challenge and you wanna use an H pattern shifter, but those things are not conducive to each other. Lucky you, we are gonna be reviewing what I think is probably the best way to mount a Logitech D29 shifter or really any H pattern shifter uh, to a play seat challenge. That is the low down shifter, which you can see here. Uh, so let's take a look at the install and then we'll do a little review. Okay, so the actual shifter mount itself comes in two different parts. Do you like the chihuahua action? So we have got this, which is the clamp, and this is what is gonna actually attach to the play seat. And then we have this, which is the plate, and this we place the shifter on, and then we marry these two pieces together somehow. But uh, the instructions say that the first thing we need to do is figure out where we want this clamp to go and attach the clamp to the seat. So I already know that I wanna put the clamp here. So uh, pro tip, if you've got a play seat challenge, you know it's pretty much all Velcro. But just to make this easier to work with, you can undo this Velcro strap, and we're gonna put this right here because uh, that's where it is in real life. So the clamp piece has a few different sizes of these rubber insert pieces. Um, we are going to be mounting uh, right here. So we're gonna be using the smaller of both of these rubber mounts because this is a pretty thick piece of, of tubing here. Uh, and we're gonna be rejoining them uh, like this, and then you wanna make sure that you're tightening these bolts um, equally. So if you do two, two turns on this bolt, you wanna go two turns on this bolt as well, that way you don't shear the bolt head. But, oh, oh, watch me watch me fumble through this. Carl, Carl, uh, Carl also fumbled through this. I'll link to Carl's video above. He has a like a 40 minute install video. So if you want a really detailed install, you can go watch Carl's video. But if you want a five minute install, watch this one. Okay, so now that we have this just clamped on here initially a little bit, uh, we can feel that it's secure. We wanna rotate it so that this is parallel with the ground. Uh, and then I'm gonna go around and finish tightening these bolts down. Now, like I mentioned, remember to uh, tighten these bolts evenly because otherwise you're gonna totally destroy this, this mount. Pro tip for you guys at home is to move your reel out of the way so you can turn, turn the Allen key. <laughs> okay, so this feels pretty tight to me. This feels pretty good. Okay, so if you need the extension bar uh, that is included, that extends it out a little bit further. I'm not gonna include the extension bar for the reason that um, I put my play seat challenge folded up into the couch every night and it wouldn't fit with it. So we're gonna bolt it directly here. Uh, and the way to do that, I've made you a little example stack here. Let me make sure I can get this in frame. So we have got the, on the bottom, we've got that nylock bolt. Uh, and then we have got the metal washer, the rubber washer, this weird metal thing, um, and then another rubber washer, metal washer screw in the top. So we're going to put this all together like so, um, but we're gonna do that with the shifter mounted. So we're gonna be placing this through this hole here, uh, through the central hole, and then from there, yeah, let's make sure we're, we're through here. Let's make sure we're through, there we go. So we're gonna be placing that through there. And then we put this specialty piece on, rubber washer, metal washer, nylock bolt. So this is gonna go on, we're gonna screw this on initially hand tight, but because it is a nylock bolt, we are not gonna be able to hand tighten it to completion. Uh, only gonna be able to make it for the first, through thread, first few threads. Um, and then we've got a good, Good, hold on that now. So then to uh, secure this, we're gonna take a, uh, an Allen key. So I've got, this is a uh, set of Allen keys for a bicycle. Uh, and we're gonna put that in the top here. And then we're gonna take our wrench and we're gonna put it around that bolt. And then we can tighten. There we go, we're gonna torque that down. And that nylock bolt is gonna hold that nice and tight for us. So as you can see, we still have a little bit of lateral movement here. We don't love the lateral movement, right? So the last step is going to be to uh, get rid of all of that excess lateral movement. I'm gonna tighten this down a few more times just to make sure we're nice and tight. Ooh, 
hit the camera there. Um, but there we go. So now you can see we've got these, these four additional holes. We're gonna put some stabilizer screws into these two holes closest to us next. So now we're gonna take these two uh, four millimeter dome head bolts. We're gonna drop them into these two holes here. And then beneath, we've got this piece here, two of these, um, and we're gonna just thread this. It's like a thread tube. Um, we're gonna thread that onto the bottom here. It's a little bit tricky because it's pretty close, but uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna thread that on nice. Yeah, there we go, that's, that's the first initial, uh, initial thread there. And then we'll, uh, we'll torque that down with the Allen case. We're gonna move this out of the way. And this is just gonna prevent, like I said, this is gonna prevent that side to side motion that we are not hoping to see. Like I mentioned, they do provide you with a couple of, a uh, couple of tools. I think it's just an Allen key actually. Um, but to make this easier for yourself, you can use some additional. Use some additional tools, like this, this Allen key set did not come with this. But everybody, if you don't already have one of these, you should have one, you should have an Allen key set. It comes in handy very, very often. Great, so that actually looks pretty good. And as you can see, that has eliminated almost all of that forward and back movement. So the final step is to mount your shifter uh, onto the plate. So as you can see, we have these two pre-drilled holes here. Uh, and then on the bottom of your Logitech shifter, you'll see that there are some mounting points. They also supply these two bolts. So we are just going to slide this uh, on here like so, and we're gonna go underneath uh, and thread those bolts through. Okay, so we have got these posts down. Uh, you can remove these. Uh, I'm not going to because I might wanna use this on something else. So we're gonna leave these uh, clamps on, but we have got these hard mount bolts through. You can get these through ahead of time, uh, and then you can just kind of slot it down into place. Let's get the wire out of our way. And then we've got this guy. We're gonna do a few threads in him. Two, three, and we're gonna go again on this side. A few threads here. And then we can tighten this up um, with our Allen key. Nice and tight. And there you have it, guys. Real time, that is how you uh, install the low down shifter. Um, it's pretty fantastic. Easy solution, works well. Um, puts the gear lever in the right spot, uh, and I think it looks pretty good. So how does it feel? Uh, it feels really nice. It's very stiff. Uh, you can see that there is a little bit of play, but you don't really notice it, particularly because if you're already using the Placey Challenge, uh, you're probably noticing uh, a little bit of play with your wheel and, and everything else, how it fits together. So uh, it's not you know out of the realm of what's normal for the play seat. So it feels really nice. Uh, I definitely took a little bit of getting used to, particularly the uh, the heel toe with the new uh, load cell brake. It was a little bit tricky, but uh, overall, I think it's a, a great product, and I would definitely recommend it if you are looking for um, uh, some some way to mount your uh, H pattern shifter down by your right side, because uh, a lot of the mounting solutions put it up by the wheel uh, or have it you know up on a desk in front of your wheel, and this is just a lot more natural. It feels a, a lot more correct. Uh, I drive a, a real manual MX-5, and it's it's very similar in placement to where my actual uh, gear lever is in the car. So I really like it, and uh, I would definitely recommend it to uh, to any of you to go uh, buy it. Uh, you can get it um, at lowdownshifter.com, I think, .co.uk. I think he's uh, he's from the UK, okay. but I'll, I'll make sure to put a link in the description there. Uh, and it's uh, it's not very expensive. I think it was like twenty five or thirty dollars. Truth be told, I bought this like a year ago, and then I didn't buy a, a an H pattern shifter for uh, a whole another year. So I just bought this uh, this G twenty nine shifter for my buddy, and I figured it was finally time to put this on. Uh, but if you guys uh, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave any questions you have down in the comments, and I'll uh, I'll try to answer everything I can read. Well, guys, there you have it. That is my uh, install and review of the Lowdown Shifter. Honestly, I do think it's probably the uh, the best solution if you are going to put a uh, G29 uh, or a similar H pattern shifter onto the play seat. Uh, works well. It's pretty flexible. Uh, and install wasn't too bad. But if you enjoyed this, received any value from this review, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we make videos like this 
twice a month, just about. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.